Tomo News presents Medical Mysteries. Girl born with heart outside her chest. This eight-year-old girl suffers from a rare congenital condition and is currently stateside seeking treatment. Virsavia Boren, born in Russia, suffers from thoracoabdominal syndrome. The condition affects five in one million people. Her heart is covered by a thin layer of skin, and she's missing part of her chest bone, a diaphragm, and ab muscles. Boren has to be careful everywhere she goes, for obvious reasons. Her mom launched a crowdfunding campaign to raise money for her medical bills in 2015, which raised over 70 grand. Unfortunately, after traveling to Florida for an operation, doctors told the young girl her blood pressure was too high to operate. So while Boren works on getting her blood pressure down, she's still just busy being an overactive eight-year-old. Baby with severely swollen head fights for survival. A poor baby from a remote village in western India is struggling to live after a rare condition has left her head three times its normal size. Though born healthy, the 14-month-old's head began swelling after just two months. The girl is battling a severe form of hydrocephalus, which causes fluid to accumulate inside the skull. In this case, the baby's skull is so filled with fluid, it now measures 23 inches in diameter. Her head is also so heavy the girl is unable to even crawl and has remained in bed for months. Surgery is the best way to deal with hydrocephalus, but the girl's parents don't earn very much and cannot afford the pricey operation. Left with no other choice, the helpless family left their daughter's fate up to the heavens. Fortunately, someone up there was listening. A GoFundMe page set up for the poor girl has amassed over 17,000 pounds, enough to pay for her life-saving surgery. Tree Man No More It may have taken a year and an insane number of surgeries, but this Bangladeshi man couldn't be happier to finally have his hands and feet back. A rare disease caused lesions to appear on the man's skin at the age of 10. They worsened over time and made it difficult for him to make a living as a rickshaw driver. Soon, bark-like growths started sprouting from his hands and feet, making it impossible to do anything except scratch his neck. The 27-year-old was dubbed Tree Man by the international media and is one of only four people in the world to ever be diagnosed with the disease. Doctors in Dhaka offered to treat him free of charge and moved him and his family to the hospital last February to begin the first of many surgeries. 16 operations later, doctors have removed 11 pounds of growth and restored Tree Man's hands. He'll still need a few more surgeries to pretty up his digits, but now he can at least eat, write, and hold his daughter. The world has no sh Rare disease causes Kenyan man to produce milk. A pastor in Kenya has been living in misery because of an unusual condition that not only kills his sex drive, but also makes him lactate. The man's problems began just after getting married. He couldn't perform in the bedroom, but didn't know what was causing the problem. After noticing an unusual liquid staining his shirt, he and his wife soon discovered that his breasts were enlarged and leaking milk. Doctors diagnosed him with prolactinoma, a non-cancerous tumor in the pituitary gland that overproduces the lactation hormone and decreases testosterone. Low testosterone means low libido, which then translates to no sex for 16 years for this poor guy. It made him obese, gave him horrible headaches, and worsened his eyesight. He became a pariah in his community, humiliated and looked down upon by relatives and congregation members for being a childless man. Despite already spending over a million Kenyan shillings on medical bills, the pastor wants to raise more than twice that amount to get surgery in India and hopefully get his life back. Baby born with no nose. Tessa Evans from Ireland was just like any other smiley, happy kid, except for one tiny thing. The two-year-old was a rare child, one of only 47 others who have been recorded as being born with a missing nose. The toddler has complete congenital arhenia, a condition so rare it affects one in 100 million. 
The girl's nose didn't develop in the womb, and while she has no sinuses and no sense of smell, she can still cough, sneeze, or catch a cold. Despite all this, Evans is your typical adorable tot, who is especially fond of dancing. In June 2015, she underwent an operation to get a 3D printed nose mold fitted under her skin. It's the first of many surgeries in the coming years, as doctors must ensure the nose grows at the same rate as the rest of her face. The final prosthetic implant will be fitted when Evans hits her teens, and the nose will be completed with nostrils and shading drawn on by a tattoo artist. Woman in India gives birth to child with rare deformities. Alien or God, this is what many see when they get a glimpse of the baby boy who was born in Katahar, India earlier this week. Doctors treating the newborn have diagnosed him with harlequin ichthyosis, a rare genetic disorder that creates thick skin and deformities. Medical experts say the child's features could also be a case of a defect called anencephaly, which results in babies born without critical parts of the brain and skull. The child's mother, 35-year-old Kalita Begum, went into labor on March 20th. After giving birth to her fourth child, Begum was stunned to meet whom she called the alien-looking boy and told the midwife assisting with the birth to take him out of her sight. Once her initial shock wore off, though, Begum's motherly instincts returned and she willingly breastfed the child hours later. Following the boy's birth, word spread through local villages and herds of devout Hindus showed up to worship the child whom they believe may be a reincarnation of one of their gods, Lord Hanuman. So which is it? An alien? A Hindu god? Or perhaps just a child who clearly has a difficult life ahead of him? Let us know what you think in the comments. This is Sam Burns, now the most well-known face of progeria, an extremely rare terminal genetic disorder in which sufferers manifest signs of rapid aging in early childhood. On January 10, he died, aged 17. The only child of Scott Burns and Leslie Gordon, Sam exhibited symptoms at just two months of age and was diagnosed with the disorder just before his second birthday. At that time, virtually nobody understood progeria. But perhaps even more improbable than his condition, both his parents are trained paediatricians and their tireless search to find an effective treatment has led to major breakthroughs. The condition is one of the world's rarest. Researchers believe that at any given time there are 250 cases worldwide at most. People with the condition live to an average age of just 13 and typically die from heart attacks or strokes. At the time of his death, Sam had been planning to apply to colleges where he hoped to study genetics or cell biology. Besides his parents, he is survived by three grandparents. Thai woman suffering rare disease has enormous hands. Holding a world record isn't always so wonderful. A 59 years old Thai woman named Sama Kasama currently holds a world record for the largest hands, but the distinction has caused her a great amount of pain. A rare disease has made it so her arms won't stop growing. Each arm now weighs about 20 pounds. It hurts like hell whenever she tries to move them. Sama Kasama has been suffering from the disease since her 20s. She's undergone surgery after surgery, but nothing has been successful. The doctors have been unable to identify the cause of her disease. They have suggested amputating to end her pain, but she says she does not want to lose her hands. Samakasama is currently making a living as a thrift shop owner. Man defies the odds and fight against elephant man disease. A Chinese man suffering from massively swollen legs is still alive and fighting a condition that should have killed him years ago. A mosquito bite at age 19 infected the man with parasitic roundworms. They gave him a rare disease called elephantiasis. The disease attacks the lymphatic system, causing fluid to accumulate in affected body parts. In this man's case, what started as a small lump on his testicle led to a massive swelling, first in the genitals, then in his limbs. Although doctors only offered grim expectations, the man managed to survive another seven years. However, he is unable to urinate properly and now has legs that weigh together as much as a giant panda. Even worse, the swelling has slowly spread to his abdomen and has gotten so bad he sometimes vomits after a meal. The 26-year-old doesn't expect his humongous legs will ever go back to normal and only hopes to survive a bit longer.